Hello from Texas. I'm going to give you some rough news. Yesterday I listened to Nick and he's got over, he's a YouTuber and he went to Springfield, Ohio. He has over a million subscribers and he interviewed the residents that American residents that currently live in Springfield and are seeing and knowing what is actually going on over there. And I'll start with, uh, he interviewed several people. Uh, he interviewed this one young guy and this young, young guy, pretty intelligent in my opinion, because he knows what the Cloward Piven strategy is. And Nick asked him, he said, how are they buying all these um, items? And he says, man, he says, they get a free phone. And on this free phone, there's an app and the government loads them money onto this app. He goes, go look, go stand at the ATM or check, check exchange. He says, there's a line of them doing like six transaction. He says, there's no money left in the ATM. And he says, they're paying for cars. They're paying uh, for houses and cash. He said, man, it's called Biden bucks. And he says, we're over here struggling and our tax property taxes went up 50%. He says, man, we're over here struggling and, and we, we can barely afford groceries. And they got um, loaded baskets full of groceries. And he said that it's unbelievable. He said, it's the Cloward Piven strategy. Um, he said, go look that up because that's exactly what's happened. And while he was interviewing this young man, a Haitian neighbor, he said, drives by. He goes, look, he goes, there's, a, there's one of my neighbors, Haitian neighbors, and he's driving a fancy $100,000 Lexus. He said, he's never been able to pay cash for a vehicle. He says, they're paying cash for houses, cars, buying nice clothes, food. And he said, our, our money, the government is giving them, they're even Western Union them to their money to their families in Haiti. And he interviewed this other young lady. She worked at a grocery store and she said she was alarmed. She said their receipts, their EBT, receipts because she can look at the receipt before she hands it to the customer. She said their their receipts were alarming. She said their food EBT was like $13,000 and their cash EBT was like $30,000 on their card. And she said they're really dressed, well-dressed. She goes, how are they going to come over here saying that they're they're fleeing their country and they're they're dressed in these fancy clothes and she goes she says i have to scrap so i can buy work boots she says i am so mad she she also said that she uh she is armed because of, of them she feels threatened and um so he this nick he interviewed this old man and he says, man, it seems like the Haitians are trying to make the people of Springfield, Ohio, leave this town. And they want to make Springfield their little Haiti. He says they can't drive. And when they do drive, they, it doesn't matter what the speed limit is. They're driving only 15 miles an hour. Um, he says he's never seen any of the residents working a literal job. And Nick asked him, asked, asked him, where do you think they're getting uh, this money from? And, and he says, well, they go stand in line at these family services. He says he sees them standing out the door and they get all of these benefits somehow on their phone. And <clears throat> this is alarming, Americans. This is super alarming. Um, it, I mean... What, what 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 is this country coming to if if we don't get Harris and Biden out 
we are if if they steal the election somehow rig the election you can just hang up i, I don't know if i want to live here until jesus comes to get us uh he entered nick interviewed this oh, by the way i'm gonna link the the video of nick and his youtube channel on this video so please be sure to watch it um this other woman was interviewed and i wrote all this down these notes that they were saying i wrote all this down she says the schools are overwhelmed because the kids that are attending they can't speak english so it's taking taking away their children's education because it's they're disturbing their english education because their kids don't speak english um, there are 19 year old Haitian men registering as freshmen and the, the city is not helping out. They're actually taking part because, um, because the landlords are, are also renting to these immigrants. He said the city pays them three times the amount of rent, uh, if they rent to these immigrants, Haitian immigrants. And they pile up between 12 and 15 people in a house so they can keep more money to themselves. Uh, this older man says they're not used to having money and they're not used to having food like we have in our grocery stores. So they buy up everything that they can. And this one man said that he had to go to three different grocery stores just to buy a loaf of bread. Uh, he interviewed this elderly man, and this elderly man is living in his van because uh, the landlords are specifically renting to the Haitians, so he can't find a place to live. And this is, this is terrifying, people, and this is only in Springfield, Ohio. The residents of Springfield, Ohio, can you imagine how much money that our government has given to these illegal immigrants. This one lady said um, the hospitals, um, because her friend is a nurse, and her friend says that she is seeing a high rate of HIV, and they're bringing in third world diseases to our country. Remember when I told you that even before the pandemic in 2020 that I told you that my greatest, greatest fear, and this was years ago, that I had this fear that Ebola would come here. And this was before the open borders and everything. My greatest fear was Ebola would come to America. I don't know, but there is less than 50 days until the presidential election and I tell you it's like waiting to see if the if the world if America is going to continue or collapse it's it's going to be one or the other because we can't sustain all these millions of people and the government is actually we're, we're in such a bad debt and and they're giving all this money away to these illegal immigrants and not helping our own people Come on, people who vote for Harris, there's some mental issues going on there. If your hatred for one man because the media brainwashed you, if your hatred for one man is think is better than what's better for this country, you got you're part of the problem. Pray for President Trump because they are going to try and do this again. What happened to him the other day? They're going to keep trying to do this and they're part of it the dims are part of it and just pray for him just take five minutes out of your day and pray for him okay let's pray for him right now in the name of jesus lord we trust you we know that your will will be done lord we pray for president trump and put a hedge of protection over him lord that no harm will come to him and lord that you'll allow him to be in the White House, Lord, and your will be done for the nation of Israel. And we pray this in your holy, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I love you, family, and I hope to see you in the sky very soon.
this world's not going to get any better but until jesus comes i pray that jesus allows trump in the white house amen amen